brain is not working. I'm literally trying to back up into this parking spot and I'm failing like three times. I've been driving since I was 18, so it's quite a time. I don't know why my brain is working today. <laughs> ah, but we are at the Stratford Antique Center in Stratford, Connecticut. It's one of my absolute favorite places to go. Lots of vendors, great big old warehouse. Um, I'll turn the camera around in a second and show you. It's just a big blue building uh, right along the highway in Stratford, Connecticut. So let's go in and see what we can find for treasure today. This is it. It's akin to an airline hangar, really. It's just massive. It's full of awesome vendors. And uh, we'll go in and take a Great price too, 20 bucks. Ooh, this, this piece. You can wear these as well. making me feel guilty for leaving him here. I'm sorry. Alright. Like, come on. Come on now. And then you even love this cookie jar. Kinda loving this Red Riding Hood planter. And then we spread This is another thing that makes me insanely happy. This is a canola. Not bad, not bad. I'm just going to be drawn to the berry bowls. Oh, I've never seen this. This Fenton jacket and pulpit. Pretty. And this is a booth. I always get sucked into. Always. Canola's. friends. That was my trip to the Stratford Antique Center. I was a good girl today and only splurged on the bittersweet vase. Um, I like the, uh, now you guys are all going to be messed up on how to say this stupid Kanawa, Kanawa, uh, stretched vase, but it was a little more pricey than actually the bittersweet. So, um, I left it. That's not an antique mall that also runs sales. I'm a little bit um, jelly jelly of some of the Midwest, Midwestern and Pennsylvania states that always have sales on at their antique centers. That doesn't typically happen here. So it was a beautiful trip. Saw lots of good, good goodies. Um, but most of them are priced for collectors. Um, and yeah, Connecticut's got a lot of stock and a lot of collectors, so it's just kind of part of the game here. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like and tell me down below what you saw that you would have grabbed. Uh, I would have grabbed every single bit of that in pulley class as well, but 
uh, again, priced for collectors, priced well for collectors, I would say. Um, and at that particular antique mall, I think if you pay with cash uh, and your purchase is over $20, they do give you a discount. So um, that's always an option to save a little bit of uh, coin as well. All right. Thanks for coming along with me for the trip to the Stratford Antique Center. Uh, again, one of the best, uh, I think, antique centers in Connecticut. There's a few more um, up north and to the west that I'm, uh, I'd like to check out this summer, but uh, for me, for within 15 minutes, I think that's the best, biggest, best assortment. An awful lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of farmhouse coming in. And no offense to you if you like the farmhouse style, but um, it feels a little, yeah, feels a little late. But there seem to be a lot moving in. Um, and we also have a, a huge uh, Asian influence as well. So some of those booths as well. I, I didn't, um, I did not film. Um, but not to say there's not some great treasure out there too in those areas as well. Hope you had a great day. We will talk to you soon. Thanks for coming along with me.